hatred of the American people. They do not want the American people over there. There's no reason for us to be over there and continue the atrocities which you are hearing about daily. Now, the Winter Soldier investigation brought up many atrocities. And, uh, you know, it's just something that cannot be allowed to continue any further. Now, for everybody who is really interested in acting upon a People's Peace Treaty, we're going to have a meeting at 1 o'clock in the Rose Room for all people to come to. Young lady, I'd like to ask a question. I think she should be able to ask. Why did I burn the Viet Cong flags yet? Okay. Very simple. Because I don't like communism in my country. And I know that certain individuals here, because of the programming or the mental programming they received, have felt that this is a, a, a good thing, that this is what they want. You don't think so, though. You're going to I don't believe that they huh? should be, you see. And I don't think that most of you believe it either, if you had ever... How many of you have been to North Vietnam, you see? How many of you have been to Red China? How many of you have been to the Soviet Union? Have you been? You have you been to That's not the question. The point. <laughs> Well, a uh, greater majority, probably 50% of the team is swimming through the meet, but uh, still anticipate some great races because uh, Ronnie Mills will be swimming uh, his four best races. He'll be swimming the 400 IM and 100 and 200 backstroke. And then uh, last year's captain, Fred Slicker, will be swimming. He'll be uh, tapering and shaving down for this meet. This will be his last meet before he goes into the Navy. And uh, we should see some pretty fast times out of both of those boys. I see. Well, you're going to have to get psyched up to beat Tennessee. Very much so. What sort of a team do they have? Well, they have uh, the first and second fastest sprinters in the 50 in the nation so far this year, and Dave Edgar and John Trimley. And then they have uh, two uh, top-notch relays that will, will be matched pretty even with them. But depth-wise, I say we have advantage over them, but uh, they've got some outstanding individuals. How do you feel about Coach Barr? Well, he's probably the greatest uh, coach, in my opinion, in the world, and he's had a great influence on me personally since I've been here at SMU and since I've known him. Your big sights are on the 72 Olympics, are they not, Jerry? That's right. Uh, August of 72. And when will the Olympic trials be held? They'll be in Chicago in uh, the beginning of July. Well, the very best of luck to you in that, in Tennessee, and also in the AAU meet. Thank you very much. He was serving his probationary period, and because he failed to meet performance standards expected of a supervisory uh, person, he was reduced to his former rank. And uh, this was as a result of his uh, failure to meet expected standards in many areas, not just one. And that's the way it goes. A burglar, somewhere, breaks the glass. The alarm and the red lights go off downtown. Mr. Robert, why is it this way in a home today? Well, I think home burglaries are on an increase all over the country, as well as here in Dallas. Now, of course, you're concerned with business as well as residential burglaries, fires, thefts. But I want to talk about this apparent leaning toward isolationism by some homeowners. I think it's become necessary. Most homeowners have a distinct fear of their premises being in it, even when they're there. What kind of homes or homeowners are coming to you for this service? 
we find homeowners from all spectrums of society, from the low end of town to the high end of town. In other words, even smaller homes of lesser value are yes. leaning in this direction? Yes, that's correct. Well, is it a fear of, uh, of having items stolen, or is it bodily harm, or, or what's pushing people in this direction? I think it's a combination of both. I think there have been many people injured in their homes, as well as a lot of property taken.
if we understand that what is happening is a, uh, a very careful and relatively small operation uh, designed to block this particular infiltration route uh, down into South Vietnam. Is there a danger of tipping the scales of balance and possibly involving other Southeast Asian nations such as China? No. Uh, again, I suppose it's a foolish man that uh, predicts, but we do not think that so long as uh, uh, China is held in check by the uh, uh, determination of the United States in the last resort to resist a direct Chinese aggression. In January of this year, we recorded 441 fewer major crimes than we did in January of 1970. Now, this represents a 9.68 decrease in major crimes this January as compared with January of last year. Our clearance rate uh, this month, January of 1971, was 22.19, and this, uh, as you can see, is uh, up a little bit over the clearance rate for January of 1970 and uh, represents a, uh, an improved clearance rate when compared with January of last year. We are rather appalled at the obvious effort being made by some sections of the news media uh, to convict her in advance before the evidence is in. Uh, Newsweek, for example, had pictures of her in, on their front page in, sh in shackles. Uh, which uh, would cer certainly have the effect and probably the intention of uh, uh, trying to work up sentiment against us. We are demanding a fair trial, calling on our members and on, on all interested people to keep an eye on the trial, to see to it that it is fair, and we expect to have a representative attending the trial from our California organization. But, Mr. Lewis, is it unusual for a prisoner of a law enforcement agency to be depicted with shackles? In your well, uh, I think there. <laughs> A woman uh, who has not yet been convicted uh, is not uh, particularly usual, but in any case, it is rather unusual to uh, have them on the front page of the news week. What does the NAACP think of J. Edgar Hoover? Well, J. Edgar Hoover is an out-and-out -out racist. He was caught red-handed uh, trying to uh, uh, do a snooping job on uh, Reverend uh, Martin Luther King, Jr., to try and hook him up with a woman. This isn't uh, any of his uh, business whatsoever. His business is to protect the country from subversives. If every man who has a woman on the side is a subversive, his jails will be full.